Doctor Strange is directed by Scott Derrickson and stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Rachel McAdams, Tilda Swinton, Mads Mikkelsen, Chiwetel Ejiofor and Benedict Wong and is the newest entry to the MCU. If you don't know the plot of the movie then I'll basically sum it up. Dr Stephen Strange, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, is a very skilled neurosurgeon who fucks his hands up in a car crash to the point where he can't even move his fingers. So after searching for ages for a cure for his hands, he ends up finding this place in Nepal where he meets the Ancient One, played by Tilda Swinton, where she doesn't just heal his hands but also teaches him magic. What can I say, Marvel has yet again made another enjoyable movie. I mean, this definitely isn't as good as Civil War, but it is still very enjoyable nonetheless. Benedict Cumberbatch as Stephen Strange is really good in this movie. He starts off very cocky and very charismatic, a bit like Tony Stark in the first Iron Man movie, but as the film progresses, you do feel sorry for him, and he eventually realises that the world does not revolve around him. Even though his performance is very good in the movie, I found it very hard to adjust to his American accent because I'm so used to him as Sherlock with his very British voice. It just doesn't sound right on first hearing because it does sound a lot like uh, Hugh Laurie from House. It just doesn't sound like him, but as the movie goes on, you do get used to the American accent. Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One is very good in the movie as well, and so is Chiwetel Ejiofor. Rachel McAdams I thought was also a very good inclusion to the movie. She plays the love interest, but she's only in the film when she needs to be, which I thought was very good. She's not in scenes that are pointless, she's basically there when she only needs to be there, so I thought that was very good as well. The clear highlight of this movie, however, is of course the visual effects and the action scenes. The visuals are some of the best I've ever seen in a movie this year. And it's honestly, when they start, it's like looking through a kaleidoscope. The action scenes are also very enjoyable and very inventive, even if some of the close combat moments could have been filmed a little bit better. In terms of flaws, I only have a couple. The villain is okay, he's nothing special. Uh, his motivations are made very clear, which is good. Matt Mickelson does try his best, but unfortunately you just don't see enough of him, and I really would have done with seeing more of the villain in this movie. The plot is nothing new either, it's a very by-the-numbers origin story, but I, th I found that the visuals and the performances were so good that it kind of counteracted how basic the story is. Finally, not all of the jokes in the movie work. Most of them do, but there are a couple that either just don't work in the first place or go on for too long and just don't become funny anymore. Doctor Strange was visually stunning and very enjoyable, even if the story and villain were nothing new, so I'm going to give Doctor Strange an 8 out of 10. If you enjoy other MCU movies and you've been on a roll with them recently, then I highly recommend this one. So guys, that was my review for Doctor Strange, I hope you enjoyed it. I will have a review for the movie Green Room out very soon. And yeah, if you want to see more reviews like this, then subscribe to the channel, like this video, and even comment below if you want to. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.